Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us continue our chapter in this topic, in this chapter where we are discussing about greedy algorithms. So in this topic, we will be discussing about job sequence with deadlines. So I hope everyone knows the concept of job sequence with deadlines. So if you don't know also, we'll be discussing it. Don't worry about that guys. Okay, so just give me a second. I'll be taking a piece of paper. Okay. So the thing is that from the name we can say job sequencing with the deadlines. So job some jobs are there. We need to sequence them with the respect to deadlines. From the name itself, it is hundred percent clear, guys. So basically, assume that you are you are a freelancer. Okay, so there are many freelancers, right? So they will be taking some small small projects and they will be working on them in the in a particular deadline, right? Okay. So assume that you got some n number of jobs, like you need to do them or you need to select among them. Okay. So I'll be just taking an example so that it will be clear for you. Okay. So assume, so remember first each and every job will have a deadline as well as the profit that you will get. Profit you assume that that's just some money you'll be getting in completing the project or the job in that in the particular deadline. Got it? Okay, so assume that you are given four projects or you have a chance to select four projects within a deadline or profit of P1, P2, P3. This is nothing but profit. You are getting 100, 10, 15, 27. Whereas the deadline D1, D2, D3, D4, the deadlines are 2, 1, 2, 1. So basically from the data itself, you can clearly say that there is a deadline of maximum two days. Okay, so, so there are only two days for your slot. So 0, 1, 2. There are only two slots, but you are having four projects. Among four, you need to select two projects such that the profit is high. So this is the question, guys. And remember that each and every project can be completed in a unit of time. So there is no project like it will take a month or so. So all projects are assumed that they will be completed in a unit of time, in one unit of time. Okay, so the first thing that you should observe is, okay, so the first thing that you should observe is, here we are having totally four jobs, place them clear, so this is the ex explanation that I am giving the, a trick guys to solve this problem without any confusion, in the, after this explanation we will go into three, theory and after that we will be going through the exact method how you need to solve in the examination, because this uh, trick you can just uh, directly solve it within a half page or within two to three steps, okay. Okay, so initially you will be drawing the thing 0, 1, 2. So place these things in ascending order. So that is nothing but 10 and 1, 27 and 1, 15 and 2, 100 and 2. Okay, so these two belong to time slot 1 and these two belong to time slot 2. Okay, so the first thing that you will be observing is here we are having time slot 2 on this side. Okay, so at time slot 2, is there any maximum thing that... We can achieve, so we can achieve this maximum. So 100 is done. So you got 100 profit. So further moving on to place it here. So you can take among any of these three, right? So if you want to place this here, you cannot place because just assume. Okay, I'll be explaining that way also, don't worry. So 15, 2 or 27, 1, which is the best profit? 27 is the best profit. So you'll be selecting 27 and you'll be getting 127 profit. So I'll be just writing the combinations which can be substituted here. So in this slot, in the first slot, you can accommodate all the projects like the first, second, third, fourth. So all the projects can be accommodated because the deadline ends at 1 because both the deadlines are greater than 1. So this, this should be exactly done by 1 and this can be done after 1 also, after 1 to 2 also you can solve it. Whereas in this spot, you are left out only with the two options. That is nothing but the third and fourth. Because this deadline has already been crossed. So after one only you will be going to two, right? So this deadline has already been crossed. That is the reason why here you are having only two options. So selecting from two options is far easier than selecting from four options. So that is the reason why you will be always solving this problem from right to left. Like from de last deadline to the first deadline. Okay. So this is a small trick even in competitive exams they will be giving a list. Like they'll be giving a large list and they'll be asking whichever, which, which projects will be accommodated. So this trick, you can use it and you can solve those problems. Okay. So now let us move on to the theoretical explanation, which was given. 
okay so job scheduling with the deadlines so this is a similar to os problem so operating system we will be selecting processes based on this prior priorities and time taking and everything right so similar to that only okay so uh, so we are given a set of x jobs like n number of jobs associated with their job i is an integer deadline so they will be giving a deadline as well as profit so remember that deadline should always be greater than or equal to zero and the profit should be greater than zero okay so for any job i the profit here pi gain when the job is completed within its deadline so this is important within its deadline it should be completed it should not take more time okay so that is the reason why i was saying that there are only two possibilities for the second part so one to two we are having only two projects whereas the first two projects are already completed the deadline has been ended so only these two can be accommodated there okay so to complete a job one have to process the job on a machine for one unit of time so remember that there is no time that one project may take 10 days now there is nothing like that only one unit of time it will be taking only one machine is available for processing the job and there is only one machine so you can accommodate in n units of time you can accommodate only n jobs that's it okay so we we follow these rules so each job each job takes one unit of time each job starts before it's a deadline the profit is obtained obtained otherwise the profit is not obtained so basically the projects should start before its deadline if it is starting after its deadline there is no use right who will give you money after the project has been ended he will not be paying you right even you complete it he will be saying that we don't need the project because the deadline has been ended so in that way so the aim is to maximize the total profit so assume that n is equals to 4 p1 p2 p3 p4 d1 d2 d3 d4 so here we are having the four combinations okay okay so now let us start making the pairs okay so basically the feasible solutions here we are having only two right so one and two so you can write all the combinations there is no issue in it so one two three four one four one three one two four three three two so these are all the possible combinations which i have written so if you observe here so the first project takes two units okay i'll be i'll be writing here deadline is a two second project deadline is a one third project deadline is a two fourth project deadline is one so if you notice here i just make sure that always the project with deadline two okay deadline two sorry all the projects with deadline one are not are not combined with deadline one because two projects of deadline one cannot be solved okay so two and four combination should not be there in this so because if you accommodate the first project for two you cannot accommodate this for four right so only one combination will be there so i have just omitted those combinations here so you might be thinking that why didn't i write two comma four here or one comma three will be there because both can be solved okay so in that way you might be thinking so that is the reason why we can skip those things okay so initially if you assume in this way so the sequence is one two three four and here it might be four one four so one and four the order is four and one because fourth will take one unit of time and it should be done at a deadline of one whereas one has a deadline of two so it will be in the order four comma one whereas one comma three both belongs to deadline two so they, they can be of any order so because they can be completed in unit of two units right so zero one two any order it can be one three or three one okay so in that way i have written the combinations and i have just calculated the profits so we got the profits so here we will we, we have we are concluding that the fourth project should be done in first half and in the second half the first project should be done so you'll be getting a maximum profit so assume that in your question there are given eight to nine deadlines in that situation directly go to the last okay so directly go to the last part like don't start with one combination two combinations three combination four combination five combination because this will waste your time because there is no use of it right right so that is the reason why go with the maximum so start at seven and six so solve for both of those and it will be enough or use the trick which i have used like starting from reverse order like from left to sorry right to left okay so in this way you can solve the problem and based on the marks you make the answer a bit lengthy that's it okay so here if you observe by using a simple logic we can fill the selected deadlines selecting the maximum profit ones in the reverse order from right to left 
okay so basically the time complexity is of a big of n square so if you write a small algorithm for this it will all automatically checking the combinations so it will be taking big of n square so inside one loop you need to write another loop okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea on this job sequence scheduling so in the next lecture we will be we will be learning about optimal merge patterns so let us meet in the next tutorial thank you thanks for watching